Hey guys, I'm gonna briefly talk to you about hotel security, okay? Uh, I've done some hotel security stuff in some of my Gray Man and Survival Escape and Evasion videos, but I'm gonna talk to you really very quickly. I'm gonna give you a five minute rundown, super fast, on some easy, quick hotel security tips. So we're here in a hotel, and the first thing is always situational awareness, guys. Pay attention to your surroundings. Notice if somebody's followed you to the hotel. And also, my gray man theory, I just referenced that a second ago, make sure you understand the image that you're presenting of yourself to the world around you. So don't make yourself a target. Be a hard target, but don't be a hard ass. We've covered all of those topics, okay? But kind of gray man, project an image of yourself that you're not a target, but you're also not provoking a fight, and you don't look like somebody that somebody's gonna wanna mess with for any reason. If you're overseas, don't make yourself look too military because then they could think maybe this guy's a spy or something like that. If it's in a really tough area or especially in the Middle East, they, or if you're in Latin America, they think maybe this guy's working for the DEA. So don't present yourself as a real uh, military badass with tons of Mali gear and all kinds of stuff like that. Again, that's why we have these El Sicario shirts that, want, that I'm wearing right now. It just really helps you fit the look of a, either just a nice, you know, well-dressed guy, but with a little bit of party flair on there, nice black shirt, not anything in any kind of a negative way. It's not going to bring, it's not too flashy where it's going to make people want to rob you, like think that you're crazy rich, anything like that. So really that's the idea. It's mental first, first mental, mental, mental. Then I'm going to teach you some physical things right now that you can put into practice yourself. So now we're gonna get into the physical stuff. Let me go ahead and show you some actual trade craft and some physical skills, okay? So first off, you know, where you're sleeping, you're gonna to wanna to have some kind of a weapon, okay? This is the newest of the Bone Breaker Micros. It's the aluminum one. All right, turns the fist into, as you can see, uh, protects the fist from all kinds of impact very devastating if it needs to be used but it's a bottle opener keychain any other way that you're looking at it okay so have that in mind environmental weapons all the you know know how to fight train physical fitness preparedness there's a resounding theme in all my videos guys that it's not just something that you're going to learn by watching one of my youtube videos it's training and repetitive and a lifestyle okay so all this stuff physical fitness being strong being fit being um prepared that's a resounding thing but okay know your know what you can be using for an environmental weapon know where the hard objects are have a if it know if you're on what floor you're on if there's a secondary escape route if there's not a secondary escape route what's outside all these hard corners and stuff okay maybe something that can be picked up and thrown i don't know if this lamp over here it can be picked up and thrown or if it's not really no it's not an effective weapon okay so you're going through looking at all this other stuff Something else, okay, this hotel has this secondary door in the room right here. So what I'm thinking, what I wanna know a lot of times is, I wanna know what happens when I'm outside the room. I always tell people don't use hotel safes because anybody has access to those safes. If you're really putting something super valuable, keep it on your person, keep it in a traveler's money belt. The best traveler's money belt you can get, obviously, is the one I make, the Bone Tactical Traveler's Money Belt. Keep your possessions on you at all times, even when you're sleeping, strapped around your waist, that's the best way to protect them. Say, for example, I wanted to leave the room. There's a few ways that I can know whether somebody's coming in and out through this access door. I can take a human hair, okay, a short human hair. Um, even one of my beard hairs from down here would probably be long enough. It only really needs to be about that long. A little bit of super glue. I just stick it on this crack right here, and I just put a dot of super glue on each side. That's all I got to do. I could do that on this drawer right here if I wanted to know if anybody's been in this drawer. Okay, I could just put the human hair over here and a, and a dot of tiny, tiny, tiny dot of super glue just holding that hair there. It'll either rip the hair free from the super glue or break the hair when, when, the, when it's open, okay? And you wanna, while you're sleeping in the room, again, I said, be aware of what's coming in and out. Be aware of uh, when you're coming in and out, what you see around you, what you hear around you. Be aware of the fire escape, emergency escape plan, uh, whether there's an elevator, stairs, escape routes, okay, secondary, tertiary escape routes. But when you're in the room and you're sleeping, you want to be able to secure a little more. You notice that this this has some kind of a, this little locking thing here, but there's this as well. Obviously, all of this is able to be got 
broken into very easily by anybody who can create a hotel key or has a hotel key or can can defeat the you know the the electronic system that this is working on so this is a little bit of a security if we were to wrap something around here it would be a little bit of a security but the biggest thing that I can do I'm going to show you guys real quick I got this belt in not too long ago from core okay and I will tag them in the description below core essentials it's k-o-r-e it's an essential belt I I think it's k-o-r-e you can see it right here like I said I'll tag them below they sent me this belt they didn't pay me to make this video I'm just kind of let me see if I can the website is on here coreessentials.com okay and this is a very sturdy belt. One of the things, it's a gun belt, okay? So it's super strong, okay? One of the greatest things about wearing this heavy belt is that it can be used to secure things, okay? And it has this little latch system right here. Something that I can do with this is I could wrap this through the middle one time and then go around and around and around and around until it was tight. And then I could actually run this through here and until it would click up as tight as I could get it right there and that would be another way to secure this door okay that would give me time to either assess getting out of the room another way or access whatever weapons I had if I was in a real real hot zone for example when we're in Latin America and we're, we're doing uh, any kind of a security detail or anything like that we sleep in full kit so we know where our weapons are we don't even put it on the bed next to us we have, if we have a bag, we'll tie a string onto our belt and tie the string to the bag. So we know where everything is. It doesn't matter if they throw a flashbang in the room. We're still, we might not be able to know where our orientation is, but we know where our gear is. Okay. So that's just an idea of how important all this stuff is. But at a basic level, be aware of your surroundings. When you're moving around, present yourself in a positive way and present yourself in a way that won't cause you problems, okay? Either from being, don't make yourself a target and don't look like trouble. And just to finish this up, guys, when you're sleeping, figure out a way to secure yourself a little better. Give yourself an advantage, those few seconds, or even, you know, 15 seconds, half a minute, even maybe a minute that it takes somebody extra to get in here. It's just gonna really be a big advantage to you. Questions and comments below. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know, okay? Let me know what you guys wanna see more of, as always. Please comment something below if you've watched it to this point, just so I can get some feedback, so I can steer my channel towards getting you more stuff that you want to see. I'm doing this for you. I'm not doing it for me. I really appreciate you watching. Bone out.